after this. I want to thank all my family and friends for supporting my dreams and all my projects uh, when I was nobody and, and just making videos on YouTube. Uh, just a, a real quick uh, story about when I uh, first came to the Oscars. This was 11 years ago with my friend Big Red. Uh, he used to work at the Academy then and he um, had a, an extra ticket. This was the first show after 9-11 uh, and they, they had uh, sharpshooters on, on all the rooftops. I was just hoping that uh, Mexicans weren't also considered terrorists. Um, <laughs> But actually, I was, I was more in awe of just being at the Oscars than, than really being uh, scared of anything. And, and especially when we're uh, walking onto that magic red car, the cameras are flashing, the fans are shouting, and we waved back and, and pretended to be somebody. Once we were in the Kodak Theater, we went up to the top floor where they were um, dispensing free martinis. And I'm a beer man myself, but uh, would it turn out a free drink? Um, <laughs> once we were a few martinis in, and we had a great buzz going, the, the show was about to, to begin, and, and uh, Whoopi Goldberg was, was hosting uh, that year, and uh, we were up in our nosebleed seats, and she was more like a, a protein strand uh, floating across uh, my iris. So we went, uh, decided to go to the bar downstairs instead. So there was Toby McGuire, Lee Scott, and legendary Ernest Borgnine, and then David Lynch, and Denzel Washington, uh, Nicole Kidman, uh, Ethan Hawke, and, and Uma Thurman when they were still together, and and, and, and every celebrity I was just. Uh, running into, uh, I, all I could say was, I'm a, I'm a big fan of yours. And uh, um, so I just ordered another drink, and then, then I turned around and I'm at a side table, I saw Julia Roberts. And, and so I uh, made a beeline for her, and, and then the block of a bodyguard um, who could eclipse the sun stood in front of her. And, and, and uh, just want to say hello to Miss Roberts, I said with. with drunken confidence and, and uh, he whispered something in her ear and, and she didn't even look at me. Uh, she was on her cell phone and, and uh, then you turn around, give her a minute, he says. And, and so I, uh, I said, fine, you know, whatever. So, uh, looked at my watch for one minute exactly and went back and I said, it's been a minute and he whispered in her ear again and, and he said, okay, I stepped aside and I stepped forward and I said, Miss Roberts, I'm a big fan of yours. Um, I'm Ricky Love, I'm a writer. Someday soon I, I hope to be here to collect my own Oscar. And she gave me the once over and she held her hand out and I shook it. She went back to her cell phone and, and, and that was that. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up, yeah. Um, so I, um, at that point, I, 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 uh, I knew it was time. I, it, um, I, I was in no condition to, to be meeting celebrities or anyone for that matter. And I, I told my buddy Big Red that I was just going to catch a cab. And on the way out, I, I grabbed a potted plant as a souvenir. Uh, and uh, anyway, that was my first Oscars. I um, just want to thank the Academy.